Hey guys, Paul Carter here on my journey as a surfer, shaper, artist. I'm going to take you through a little time capsule of some of the latest full moon inspiration. Doing some finger art, digital art, ink art, and some custom surfboards as well along the way. Thanks for taking the time to tune in and check out the latest on my YouTube Tribe channel. You can find me on Instagram under PC Boards. And I would be stoked if you follow me here and click subscribe. What I like to do is design and draw boards, whether it's ink art or drawings, pencil or digital. Just keep the creative going. And here is one of those little fish, kind of in between a fish style board, which I'll be making soon. And this is a mural, full mural, for surfing or hanging on the wall. This board coming up is from 2006. I ordered this blank custom from Clark Foam at the time. Hence the logo, Clark Foam. This is a three stringer, quarter inch cedar, redwood in the center actually, and cedars on the side. And I painted both sides using acrylic paint and toes on the nose. This was the first one of, I've done about seven of these so far, different styles and different curves. And you can see the wood stringer, I actually ordered it custom with a nice curved wave and course I painted in the wave as best I could at that time. It's great to see these boards from the past because I can see where I was at that time with shaping and painting and I already know what I would be able to change or highlight more or improve more if you will. This is a great angle of the board horizontally the bottom. I rode this board a few times. It was a great board in between a performance and kind of a classic. It had a nice edge in the back, a uh, foot and a half. Nose rode really well. It was real stable. I think this board weighed around 20 pounds. Here's the top side of the board. And I wanted to highlight this or document this board because it went to a new owner, as you will see coming up here. Here's the top side. I took this board everywhere to quite a few art shows and for display. Here is the new owner, my good friend Lyndon, down at Basham's. He is stoked. and. I always enjoy meeting people that appreciate hand-shaped boards and hand-painted art. And I, uh, so I'm really happy to uh, let this one go and I'm actually going to make a new one. This is a wedge stringer that I made for Lyndon as well. I started doing these in the early 90s. I was inspired by Radiator. This is some of what I do. I'm a surfer, shaper, artist, so spread your wings, fly, get out there, keep creating. Thank you for the time. Stay stoked, stay inspired.